Hello LOLers, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're back with the Porters and we are back with Marquise. If you haven't seen the last episode, you should definitely do that right now. You just should, like, <laughs> the last episode, mm, the ending, T, T. Plus you're gonna be kind of confused if you haven't seen the last episode, so. Make sure you do that right now. There's a link right there in the corner and there's a link to the entire playlist in the description. So you can start from the beginning, get all caught up and join us in the conversation in the comments, okay? Also, if you wanna watch this series and any of my other Sims Let's Play series ad-free with exclusive scenes, make sure you check my Patreon out. It's only $2. You get access to like endless videos, ad-free, exclusive scenes. Also, there's some exclusive videos that I just simply could not put on YouTube. So yeah, make sure you check that out. If you already pledged to the Patreon, I just wanna say thank you so much for supporting me and I'm happy that I bring you joy by doing what brings me joy. But anyway, like I said, we're back with the Porters. We're back with Marquise. And we are actually back from Qdad Anamorata, y'all. I feel like I just butchered that name for sure, okay? <laughs> anyway, we are at Devin and Nazir's house at their mansion in the hills. Marquise has not met the baby. Also, you guys have not met the baby either. We did a whole baby shower and all that. And you guys did not even meet the baby. I ended up having the baby on stream. So yeah, make sure you follow me on Twitch, you guys. I also am streaming every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you head on over to Twitch, okay? But y'all, this is baby Naveen. Marquise's new little nephew and right as as if Marquise wasn't already going through it look at him he is so sad holding this baby like he loves this baby look at their little meter already they getting along real well uh, they're not friends yet but shit that's a that's a lot compared to rain because rain did meet the baby because rain been with her abuela lately and y'all already know Abuela is going to take care of that baby, okay? Like, <laughs> please don't ever get that confused, period. But yeah, um, Abuela definitely snatched Naveen up, took him to her house. So yeah, when Rain was at her Abuela's over the summer, she spent um some time with Naveen. Not that much, though, so yeah. But Rain likes babies, so I feel like her and Naveen are going to be really close. But y'all, look at Marquise. Why don't you put the baby on the floor like that? Put him in his fucking... Come on, man. Don't do the baby like that. Yeah, look. Oh, Deja, what you want? Hey, I'm working and it's stressful. But I just wanted to call and see if you are having a good day and say that I love you. Ooh, y'all, I'm going to say I love you too. I'm bringing you food. Aw, thanks. Get back to work. Ah! You know, get back to work is crazy. I'm going to say aw, thanks. He's not in the fucking mood right now. Hmm, Um, you're welcome, I guess, huh? Ooh! But Deja, don't be calling Marquis Tosom. Yeah, I love you. And you know damn well you finna abort that baby tomorrow. Like, bitch, you pissing me off. <laughs> like, no, like, bitch, you acting like they don't know what's up. Like, but yeah, anyway, pick this baby back up. Don't put Prince Naveen on the floor. How fucking dare you? This is Prince Naveen, okay? <laughs> oh, and here go Rain talking to her big cousin. Y'all know they real close. Yo, I'm so sad. I'm not ready for Rain to be a preteen. It's it has to happen though. Like I'm thinking about doing it this month, y'all. I'm so sad. I'm so I'm not ready. I don't want to, you guys. Like look at her. She's so cute. Look at my baby. Look at her. Looking just like Marquise when we started this video. Please. Hold on. Let me have Rain say hi to her cousin. Y'all know she loves babies. So I'm gonna have her kiss the baby, do all that stuff. Oh, look at Rain. Oh, look. Please. That's her little baby. Hold on. I'm about to have Marquise and Nazir sit outside and talk about, you know, what's stressing Marquise out. Oh, yeah. Right here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's have them boys sit over here. I don't think they're going to be able to smoke together. Yeah, because there's no, like, bench. But they need to talk. Y'all, Rain want to be an older sister so bad. Look at her. Talking to the baby. She about to play peekaboo with him. Meanwhile, 
Marquise and Nazir are over here having this deep ass conversation. He was just talking to him about healthy relationship dynamics. Now he about to ask him for some advice. Like, whew, that brother's going through it. What y'all about to do, hug? Dap each other up. Oh, come on, brothers. Oh, here go Claudia. Y'all, this house is so big. I did not see Claudia and I did not see Cameron. <laughs> Look at Marquise. He's so upset. He really wants his baby. Oh, I don't know if I read this the last uh, episode, but it says Marquise's partner just put on the table the idea of ending this pregnancy. Marquise is shocked and distraught. He is so happy about this upcoming birth. And to know his partner does not want this child, it's so hurtful. So, yeah, that's why I was so surprised that Deja was acting like that. Like, sister, that brother is hurt. He didn't cancel the trip early. They're still supposed to be in Mexico right now, y'all. Look, he told Deja, he said, look, Everything paid for, your flight paid for, the hotel already paid for till tomorrow. But I'm stepping, like, I don't know. I, I can't I can't do this. He need to be with his family. Hello, your brother just gave you this good-ass advice. This how you going? Oh, never mind, Nazir yell. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought Marquise was about to yell at him. I'm like, really? Nazir, please, don't do this to Marquise. He already going through life, okay? Nobody wants his baby. Nobody wants his baby. He already feels bad enough. All right. Nazir got a whole rack of kids. How many fucking kids Nazir got? Three, four, including Cameron. Cameron is his baby. He don't care. He don't care if she got another dad. But let's see. Yeah, let me give him some family advice. And let's philosophize. Philo philo philosophize? Did I say that right? Philosophize? Philo philosophize. Yeah, I, I think I said... <laughs> How embarrassing. Y'all, I swear, I'm not dumb. For real. I'm not like <laughs> Lauren to Jewel, not a drim. Scridge. But y'all, um, tomorrow I'ma have Deja get an ultrasound just because I, I want to know if she about to have his son. Now, uh, I'm still probably gonna have her get an abortion. But oh, what's wrong with you? Why are you angry? I'ma still have her get an abortion, but um, oh, she's having a midlife crisis, Devin. Oh, not the postpartum. Got my girl having a midlife crisis like please oh not the difficult relationship some sims just can't seem to get along with each new conversation and interaction having the potential to turn unpleasant it's certainly looking that way between nazir and marquise family members with a difficult family dynamic will be mean to each other more often you know what's crazy it's like they already had this rocky relationship but shout out to growing together for like really giving it a label you know <laughs> not the game that as acknowledging the fact that Marquise and Nazir have this rocky ass relationship. Like, I'm fucking screaming, man. He just wanted some advice. He wanted his brother to comfort him. Everyone yelling at each other. Like, what fuck you argue about music for? You just want to argue, man. Like, what y'all what argue about, man? Schmezzle, waffetub. Like, I literally can't. I fucking can't, man. Oh, the baby. Not Rain and Cameron just walking. I mean, Rain and Claudia just walking right past each other. And it's Cameron and Devin beefing? Why are you beefing with, uh, with Cameron? How about you take care of the baby? How about you eat your food, huh? How about that? Was oh, the baby about to sleep? I think so. Yeah, he's sleeping right now. All right. Yeah, the baby's sleeping. That's why he was crying. I wonder, hmm. The pizza with the fork is fucking killing me, man. <laughs> Let me ask her, how are you? Why should she be nasty? You know what's crazy, though? Their relationship is kind of like... You know, I don't know when this happened, but oh, I, so funny. I'm like, yeah, you know, they get a little closer. And then we see the distant family dynamic. I don't know. Maybe when they get older, they might get closer. I don't know. It's about time for everyone to age up soon. So Cameron about to be a young adult. I know. I said I was going to start her last. But I still am, y'all. I still am. But with that Sims break that I took, I ain't going to lie. It's going to take me a little longer. But I did start like um decorating her dorm and stuff and planning okay the girls have the girls got the ipads out we're in the notes app we're cooking some shit up y'all and i don't know i'm thinking about starting like a well not starting but maybe like the porters can be like the high schoolish let's play since i i'm not doing my high school years let's play anymore people keep asking about it and i'm like y'all no i'm not playing with it anymore but okay, damn, everyone take it forever to eat. It's because they keep yapping them fucking gums. Yapping and flapping them gums. Marquis still out here sad as fuck. Damn, y'all. Deja, look what you did to Marquise. And then you're going to call him, tell him something. Yeah, I'm thinking about you. Love you. Well, if you love him, keep the baby. 
oh, okay, but you're not going to keep the baby, so you don't love him, right? <laughs> not me being manipulative, like. <laughs> okay, the good thing is, Cameron, oh, awkward. I keep getting Cameron and Rain mixed up. I don't know why. But I, the good thing is Rain and Claudia, they didn't gouge each other's eyes out today. Rain never knows how to act around distant family members. Things just get weird. Sometimes it feels like they just don't get each other. No, you and Claudia are like from two different planets, even though you guys are family, which is kind of crazy. But um, okay, you guys, we're going to get out of here. Time for us to go. Plus, Rain got school tomorrow. So she got to go get ready for school. Tomorrow while Rain's at school, we're gonna go to the hospital first. I think Deja will be on her second trimester tomorrow because she just started her first trimester today. So I'm gonna assume by tomorrow. She should be on trimester two, which means we should be able to see the uh the sex of the baby. So I mean now I don't even know why I'm torturing myself though, because it's like it it really doesn't matter because Deja's not gonna keep the baby, you guys. I'm gonna just like Get that out of the way right now. She's not keeping the baby. She doesn't want it. And also, I didn't want them to have a baby yet. Like, okay, now, nah, I didn't really plan on them having a baby in general. That was not my plan, but especially not now. Like, see, Deja ruined my plans for real. Because now they might have to break up prematurely. And it's just like, bro. All right, y'all. We're back home. All right. Our pets. She missed her babies. Brownie. Hold on. Let me. Let me pet them. Brownie and Stormy. Her babies. Marquise is still upset over this shit, man. He's so... Y'all, he's so fucking funny. I'm sorry. Like, he's actually hilarious. I'm gonna have him stew outside on the balcony. Hit a little J. Enjoy this fall air. Rain got school tomorrow. Did she do her homework? Probably not knowing this little girl but she does her homework fairly quickly anyway yep see oh look dominate homework period sister exactly but you guys i'm so not ready for rain to um oh now she got 13 vacation to down i'm so not ready for rain to be a preteen like i'm really not i think we should have her join an after school club though i can't believe rain doesn't like, she's not in no activities, so I don't know. I guess our last days of rain as a child <laughs> will put her in after school activity. Hey, Marquis, bro, no, y'all. Bro, nobody wants to have my offspring, okay? I'm I'm upset right now, bro. And see, this is what Marquis talk about. Like, he getting older. Marquis, he already didn't have a lot of friends, but it's like, y'all in the way, man. Like, you don't even have no friends with kids. Demetrius, his best friend, still living in an apartment. I mean, his other friends is what them guys in the, in the fucking um, in the gang. But like, they ain't know nothing. You know, he just feels kind of lonely right now. Like, damn, Deja don't want his baby. He tried to talk to his brother about it. His brother over there yelling at him like he did something. I mean, he can't talk to his daughter about it. She's just a kid. <laughs> He's definitely not going to tell his mom. Like, he really don't feel like hearing that shit. And yeah, like, none of his friends are really, like, in the same boat as him. You feel me? He's kind of more mature than his friends. All his friends still fucking around and enjoying being young. You know, it's that weird stage of, like, your mid-late 20s where it's like, you know, some people, some people getting married and some people are having a brat summer, you know? <laughs> Like, no, like, when you look at your friends that are married with kids, and then you look at yourself, and you're like, oh, I almost didn't make myself something to eat today. I almost had a Lunchable for dinner, so, <laughs> yeah, it's giving that, you know? And y'all, look, Rain, she's so cute. Watching TV, she just finished her homework. A little decompressing for the night. Marquis just sitting out here. At least he feel better, though. Oh, he wants to chat with his brother. See, look, he just wants some connection. Y'all, look at how how much their relationship deteriorated just because we went to go see our brother today. Like that, it's the childhood enemies um, thingy for me. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> Imagine being childhood enemies with your sibling. Like, how nasty. Whoa. Marquise is hungry. Do we even have real food? This is old ass food. All this food old as dirt, bro. 
We gonna eat this old ass food in the fridge. Marquise don't feel like cooking or ordering food. Rain in this damn teddy bear. <laughs> she be killing me with this shit, bruh. What's this? Is this your bag? Is this your bag? Oh, for when you went to your grandma house. This is your bag. I completely forgot. Oh, look at Rain's little drawing. This is so cute. Let me have her write in her journal real quick. Oh, wait, she left her other journal at Abuela's house. Fuck. Damn it. Oh, well, it's just Abuela's house. Damn. Okay, well, never mind. My sister's sleepy anyway. Let me have her turn in for the night. And boy, Marquise got to go with Deja to get this abortion tomorrow. Man. Yo, I want Marquise to have another baby, though, but it's just like, whew. Who is eligible? Who is eligible? I mean, I wanted him and Deja to, like, get there eventually. It's just like, come on, bro. The day you ask someone to be your girlfriend. Oh, this is Rain's bathroom. Let me not blow her bathroom up. But the day you ask someone to be your girlfriend is the day you find out they're pregnant with your child. And then you find out they don't want your child. Like, oh, now I just asked you to be my girlfriend. And you don't you don't want to do this with me for real, for real. Like, oh, okay, bet. Bet. Look, we got this extra room. Marquis got all this space. He got that big backyard. And he wants a son. He wants a mini me. Like, I mean, Rain is, huh? I would say Rain is his mini me, but not really. He be like, honestly, I don't know where this child came from. Okay, well, he does. She acts just like her mom. Okay, creative, does her own thing, real independent. She's so her mom's child, but it's like, She's never asked about her mom, and if she never asked, Marquis not gonna bring it up. So he don't feel like going down that slippery slope, okay? Isn't it crazy how life works? It's like, oh, the mother of your child fucking up and left you in the middle of the night just for her to never return, just for your daughter to be a spitting image. Rain even looks like Dana. Rain looks just like her mom. Like, literally. Rain do not look like Marquis. Maybe it'll change when she gets older but she looks like her mom you guys can't really see her that well but yeah she looks just like her fucking mom if you watch mariah's university let's play y'all have seen dana i mean shit if you've been watching since marquise and mariah were actually dating you know who dana is because she's the reason marquise and mariah are not together anymore well it's okay let me not say that that makes it sound like she home wrecked and she didn't she didn't home wreck marquise couldn't keep his dick in his pants that night that's how the cookie crumbled you know all right, my baby's up for school. Time for her to get ready. Girl, come on, go use that toilet. Instead of dancing. Who's calling my boy? Ugh, I knew someone was going to call for some damn drugs. Do you even have drugs to sell? That's my thing. I don't know. We need to get back on our gang shit. I ain't played with base mental gangs in forever. Like, I'm so rusty. But it's okay. Oh, sister, <laughs> not the sink broke. Let's see, Um, breakfast, breakfast. Oh, I said she could make oatmeal. Hold on, can she really make this? She's a kid, I don't think she could cook for real. Let's see, man, I wish the kids could cook though. Like I get it, it's a safety hazard, but I was definitely cooking as a kid. Oh. Oh, these are candles, bitch. I'm like, what the fuck is this on the floor? They're candles. <laughs> and what's in here? Okay. Well, you know what? Let me put all my weed in here. I think we have more, too. I don't know, man. We need to get our things in order in this save file, for real. Like, I really be all over the place. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not ashamed. Here, let me fill these pet bowls for rain. Oh, I should have had Rain make, make some noodles for breakfast. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. She can't cook it. I know it. I know she couldn't cook it. Here. She's not going to be ready for school in time. Hold on. Let me see. Now she about to eat hot chips for breakfast. Sister, no, you can't have hot chips. Like, I'm trying to give her a balanced meal. She's like, fuck that shit, man. Let's see if she can make uh noodles. Let's see. Marquise, what you doing? Why is he making a drink? Like, what the fuck are you doing? And it's raining like shit. Like, don't Marquise throw. You pissing me off. Oh, y'all, she could really make noodles. I'm screaming. Uh, not the handle on her hip. 
hungry ass. And yeah, I'm gonna have Marquise make this oatmeal for himself. Oh, look at us. She about to be late for school though. No, that's why I love Marquise and Rando. They really remind me of me and my dad. But they get along, you know? <laughs> I mean, me and my dad, like, we... Um, okay, I'm not gonna say me and my dad. Okay, no, me and my dad be beefing. We do. It's like... I wouldn't say it's Rocky. It's more good than Rocky, for sure. But, like... And, yeah, my dad, sometimes he'll, like... When I was in high school, he'd be like, yeah... I don't feel like driving you to school today. You can stay home. You know, he was cool like that sometimes. Or, like, he would take me to school late because he took me to get breakfast. Oh, yeah, look, my girl got her backpack and everything. I know that's right, sister. Have a good day. All right, Marquise. Um, Now, he's going to try to have a good day. I don't know, though. We about to get this baby aborted. So, oh, he should go see Deja at her house. Yeah. I'm feeling that. Let me not control these other sims. Hmm. Okay, sir. Sir, I'm gonna need you to finish this oatmeal so we could go on with our lives, okay? Like, the sims be doing everything but eating their food. Be smiling, be talking. No eating, though. And I think my dog needs a bath. I don't know if he's actually dirty or if that's just how he looks, so. Oh, well. Okay. Before we go to Deja's house, y'all already know. We got to be ready. I know it's raining, but he has like a little, yeah, there's like a little roof, so. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oop. Oh, also, we got some new neighbors. I should have Rain say hi to them. I don't know if you guys remember my Sim, Shay, and Keyshawn with the three babies, and one of them is like Paisley's friend. Yeah. She ended up finishing nursing school, and as a gift, her man bought her and the family a house so now they live in willow creek they don't live in evergreen harbor anymore once you guys see them you guys probably don't know who i'm talking about but once you guys see them you're gonna be like oh them oh that's so nice i'm happy but yeah you guys we have a thriving neighborhood going on i want to show you guys all the stuff i've been doing in willow creek like i put a rec center down a library like people really be outside i put a park and stuff people really be outside and you know, it's like really a little hustling and bustling environment. And like people live in all of these houses. One, two, three. One, two. I started moving some people in the other neighborhood behind it. I'm really excited, you guys, especially as rain gets older. And man, if only Marquise could get him uh, somebody to have his baby because I got some friends for the baby to play with. <laughs> you know, like I'm ready. I want to see Marquise as a one woman man, but the only person I can really see him being a one woman man for is Mariah. But like, I don't know. I feel like that ship has set, especially when Mariah find out that Marquise got Deja pregnant. Oh, because best believe she's going to find out. She is going to find out. There's so many ways for her to find out too. Like, mm. but yeah, we're going to hit this J and then we're going to go out the city. Oh, oh. Boy, you doing all that and Deja don't want your baby, so mm, Pisces, delusional. We're about to uh be on our way to San Myshuno. We'll see you guys when we touch down in the city, period. Okay, y'all. So we have <laughs> arrived at Deja's house. Her little bump is so cute. I'm sorry. Like Deja on this first trimester, you're looking good, sister. But we getting along for now. <laughs> Emphasis on for now. Look, thinking about this baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Let me have Marquise hug, hug her belly. Ooh. Make it more sad, huh? Like, oh, wait. Y'all so cute. Uh, what? Oh, Deja. Sister. Sister. Look at y'all. <laughs> like, come on. You can't deny this. You can't. Huh? You can't. But no, her career. No, she not going to be like her mom. Her mom was super smart, had a business, and then her mom got pregnant with her and Demetrius, Marquise's best friend. 
and then her mom just stayed at home her dad sold drugs and marquis sell drugs like no she already no she don't want her baby living life like that no no and she don't want to be a kingpin wife she don't <laughs> she already know how that go her dad and trey john was beefing her dad is like trey john's biggest op her dad is the reason trey john had to like start all over start from scratch that's why deja was able to get accepted into a good school now she got this apartment now she's living this little bougie life because she lived in the hills all her life because her daddy ran off on trey john's money and so they lived in fear their whole life of Trey John retaliating. But Trey John, he started having his own kids. And he's like, you know what? Like, can't keep living like this. But yeah, y'all, Deja, she don't want that for her baby. She don't. No matter how cute y'all looking. Like, look at y'all. Look at y'all. <laughs> Let me, um organized to provide for the baby because she not hitting her second trimester until like two hours from now so we need to kill some time anyway but yeah like he's he's telling her about organizing to provide for the baby and um okay not right now and let's enthuse about pregnancy <laughs> Oh, look, she's not happy and not on the same side. Deja does not want this pregnancy and it stresses her out sometimes to be near a partner who's... Ooh, not as stressing her out. Look, she do not want to hear this shit about the baby. Like, nah, I'm gonna abort this shit, man. Look, the tiny miracle. Marquise is amazed at how much his partner's body is changing to accommodate the little one. As he pressed his cheek against his partner's neck and felt the warmth of their body, Marquise promised himself that he would do everything to support his partner every time. So oh! <laughs> she, she, she just want this shit, man. Lover's bliss from being a love bug. Every moment near Marquise's partner feels like a symphony of passion. You're such a Pisces. Like, oh my God. On different sides. Marquise is so happy about the upcoming birth. Sometimes it really upsets him to spend time near a partner who... Damn, everyone upset. Near each other. Woo, y'all. This relationship, girl. I don't know. Deja missed this hookah. She missed hookah. She missed lemon drops like no look over here crying about the hopelessness of the future with her baby like i fucking can't sadly cringy hello not this music oh of course he likes flirtation But y'all, I need this. Damn, this music is loud as hell. But yeah, I need this trimester to go on right now. Damn, this loud ass music. Fuck. Deja and Marquise are both very satisfied. How? How are they very satisfied when people beefing and nobody wants to keep the baby? Like, no, I don't like that. They're satisfied with each other, but Marquise, no. I don't know if he can be with someone who, who doesn't want his baby. Like, if you really end this shit with him for real, why you don't want his baby? You don't want to be stuck with him forever for real? Like, mm, that says a lot. And look at you, me. How can you be horny at a time like this? Oh my. Well, y'all, Deja said, oh, I can be horny at a time like this. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm kind of horny. Me, what about you? Oh wow. No. Violets are blue. I'm not in the mood. Yeah. No, cause no, you can't have my dick. You don't want what comes after this dick. <laughs> so no. Deja is now in the second trimester and should schedule her next prenatal visit. Only one prenatal visit is needed. Okay, you guys, we're about to go do this ultrasound and then we're gonna abort the baby. I know I'm torturing myself, like, seeing the gender of the baby and stuff. But, no, that's, I kind of wanted to, like, be more real. Because Marquise, he's going to be hurt, like, once he see, like, the gender of the baby. And she's, he's going to be like, how can you see the baby on the ultrasound and you still don't want it? Like, you're a monster. <laughs> Wait, I forgot how to do this. Fuck. <laughs> I forgot how to do this. Oh, there we go. I forgot how to use this mod. It's been forever. Okay, yeah. 
Let's do pregnancy checkups. And let's go. Yeah, I was about to say, bring Marquise with you. Yay! We're about to get this ultrasound, y'all. Okay, you guys, we're at the hospital. Deja's about to get her ultrasound. Marquise, wait in patiently. Oh, look at the baby, y'all. Damn, Deja, look at them titties. Congratulations. You're pregnant. Based on the ultrasound scan, it looks like you're expecting one healthy baby. Everything looks good so far, but we'll continue to monitor your pregnancy. Oh, she's having a girl. Oh. Oh, is she sad? Yeah, she's sad. Unwanted pregnancy, second trimester. The idea of being parent to a new baby doesn't sound any better than in the previous trimester. There is still time to make a difficult decision, but Deja's just not sure. No matter what she does, the damage is done. Life is permanently altered. Marquise, were you even paying attention? He's just here for vibes. Like... Oh, and look, unwanted baby. Seeing the image of her baby on the ultrasound scan is leaving Deja feeling overwhelmed, confused, and uncertain about what to do. Part of her feels guilty and ashamed for not wanting children. It's important that Deja takes the time to process her emotions and consider all of her options. After all, her decision will impact her life. She must take care of herself and her emotional well-being in order to navigate this difficult decision. Y'all, she don't want this baby. She's miserable. We're not about to have a Dana 2.0. We can't do this to Deja, y'all. We can't. We can't. We can't. We about to go home. And I think, I think it's time to abort this baby, y'all. Feed is the leadest, for real. Because this baby got to go. We got to go. I'm sorry. You're in the way. You got to go. She about to tell Marquise that she getting this abortion. She better ask him to come with her. But, man, I wish he could be like, nah, I ain't coming with you. <laughs> That'd be so crazy. Um, Yeah, let's do it. Ask to a company to abortion. Nah, let's see. Let's see Marquise because he looking real serene right now. But I don't know. Look at his face. So hurt. He's like, I can't believe you're asking me to do this. I mean, well, he's going, though. Man, I wish they could be like, fuck no. <laughs> Rain has returned from school. She's one of the top students at Land Grab Elementary. Keep up the good work. Aw, Rainy. Not me saying Rainy. And it's quite literally raining outside. Like, hello? And when did this Target get over here? Like, I don't remember putting that here. <laughs> What is going on? Damn. Damn. Claudia. No, not right now, Claudia. Ooh, y'all see how their friendship went down? Uh-oh. Oh, oh y'all, Marquise is broken. Look. And he wants to rile up a sim. Oh, yeah. Oh, Marquise. To have had to give up this child that he wanted, Marquise is devastated. The end from attending an abortion. Accompanying a sim to an abortion was a rather sad and shocking experience. And it must be so much worse for the sim who was directly going through it. Y'all, Deja, I don't, does Deja even have a thingy? She don't, y'all. She don't give a fuck. Look, look, she happy as hell. She, the only reason she says, because Marquise, I have to change that setting for, um, for base mental. But y'all, she. Deja don't feel nothing. No, he's going to be like, how could you? You're so heartless. <laughs> Give the cold shoulder. Is Deja insulting Marquise now? What's she about to say now? Oh, now she yelling at him. Oh, I'm about to have her be like, where is it? Express suspicions. Express suspicions about closeness with. Oh, she dislikes arguments? No, she's a lawyer. She loves that shit. Hold on, let me do this so she don't pee on herself. And I was about to do something, and then you guys interrupted me. The fuck? Jealousy. Express. Yeah, like, you're doing all that, and I know you still feel some type of way about Mariah. Like, I know you do. Sharp, not, busy. Then Cooper not everyone yelling at each other. Damn. Woo. Intrigue. Is Deja trying to act like she all innocent? Like, no. Damn. 
Bip, it's your boy. Uh. Bip, it's ten. Oh, yeah. Look at that boy. Uh, oh. <laughs> now she brushing him. Oh, bet. Bet. Oh, he about to say some mean to Deja. Oh. Ooh, I don't know what to say. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Ooh, Marquis going to be nasty. By the time you're... Ooh, not me spelling things wrong. But by the time you're quote unquote ready to start a life with another person everyone will have already moved on that career won't keep you warm at night Ooh, someone's <laughs> marquise coming from marquise this is rich because like what the fuck would you know you've never even worked a real job in your fucking life like <laughs> yeah that career won't keep you warm at night Ooh. Little sassy ass, like not Marquise reading down. Anyway, y'all, Marquise, he's he's fucking out of here, bruh. Man, look look how he looking at Deja. Like it was not supposed to be like this. It wasn't. We supposed to be happily ever after. Anyway, y'all, he about to go to Jada and Armani's house. He wanted to smoke with Armani. Damn, Armani not home. They tell some select sims to travel with. I'm like, why is she not home? But she is home. That's why I can't travel with her because she's already there. Damn, I put all my weed in my fucking box, bro. Damn it. He was going to send her on a mission. I think we can still send her on one while we're there. Okay, we'll see, though. We'll see. He better go chop it up with Armani. Armani's, like, one of his favorite people to talk to because she's a girl, but she's not, you know? So, like, <laughs> you know, she understands the male mind and the female mind because she's a stud. So, <laughs> just pulled up to Imani. Well, Imani, Armani, and Jada's house. Bad to smoke, bad to chop it up. Where Armani at? And y'all, I didn't finish their house, so don't judge me. I only did Jada's room. Well, I did Armani's room, too. Is Armani even... Oh, Armani upstairs. Wait, I miss being here. I need to play with y'all again. Because this little room is cute. Hold on, let me have Deja... I mean Deja. Jada, Deja. I keep getting everyone mixed up. And then Deja and Jada both dark skinned. So I'm over here getting both of them mixed up. <laughs> like and then they both live in the city. Like, oh. Marquise don't know Jada, really. I thought they knew each other. You can be like, oh hey, um, is Armani home? Oh. <laughs> now he's instantly attracted to 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 Jada. The feeling, I don't think the feeling mutual though. Uh <laughs> now he getting to know her where is Armani? oh she was upstairs is she ever gonna come up i mean come down i mean i guess he's just gonna talk to jada then i think armani is coming is she not up here no more so i think maybe she's already on her way downstairs hello armani oh never mind she getting in the bed oh never mind she was about to <laughs> That's where she was. She was in the bed. And y'all see this introduction to attraction. Marquise feels instantly attracted to, to Jada. Oh, wow. And now they good friends. Marquise has learned the following traits about Jada. Non-committal. I bet. Oh, he's hilarious talking about mental health. Yeah, he about to tell. He about to tell the sisters. Y'all, let me tell y'all what happened. Y'all never gonna believe this shit. Oh, not vent about terrible family. Oh my god. Oh shit. I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's have a deep conversation. Marquise, he be needing female energy around him. Even if the female energy is a little on the masculine side, that's fine. <laughs> He's okay with that. Like, look at him just talking to the sisters about his day. Armani sad just just hearing about this shit. Fuck. <gasps> Whoa! What the fuck? Yo. Yes, Ms. Ribama. Yo. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Huh? What? Oh my god. Um, Marquise? You? have a girlfriend hmm? oh y'all did not break up yet like yeah y'all had a bad argument y'all mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah see 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 
Hold on. Does does Jada think Marquise is attractive? Oh, she's very attracted. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, don't you want a man too? You don't know a whole lot. Oh, y'all, remember in Jada's episode of Living Single? Okay. So Jada isn't living single, y'all. Um, her and Oh, never mind. They broke back up. Okay, they got back together and now they're broken up again. Girl, I don't fucking know. Well, listen, she still be messing with Malik. Okay. Like whenever she needs some dick, that's what maybe she's tired of going to Malik for some dick, so Marquise is the next Oh, y'all, I can't. Uh, I fucking can't! Armani just left. I don't know where the fuck she went, but she left. Jade over here trying to cheer him up. Marquise, you should leave soon. You've been outside all day. I know you're hungry. Cause the only thing you ate. Okay. Well, maybe that's where she going. I don't fucking know. Y'all. Yeah, Marquise. Him and Jada. I don't know if y'all should spend time together. Wait, Jada, didn't you dance on Marquise at the club? Oh. Oh, and look, she really cheered him up, y'all. Oh, wow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Everyone's learning about each other. Jada has learned that Marquise is single. Marquise clued Jada in on some personal details about his life. Jada has learned the following Marquise's career, Marquise's financial status. All right, I'm going to have them sit and smoke together chop it up marquise does feel better though which is great deja see that's your prop man listen i wish it uh, y'all i wish a bitch would comfort my man when i made him sad i don't give a fuck i don't give a fuck what i did don't ever comfort my man bitch unless you ready for someone to comfort your ass in the hospital the fuck because <laughs> what y'all like this is crazy this is crazy Like, and then he's smoking other bitches up. I mean, Deja, look. Okay, but also it's not Deja's fault, though. She didn't want the baby. And Marquis should have should have accepted that. So it's like, it's not really her fault either. But also, sister, like, Marquise is real sensitive. Like, mm, if that's your man, then why he over here? Dead ass, bro. In the same city, too. That's why it's so crazy. He's not even in a different city. He really just went to a, another neighborhood. Her boo was about to spell out. Like, she know exactly what she doing. Ooh, y'all. But Jada Marquise. <laughs> Nothing even happened yet, but like, come on. Come on. I really love hanging out with you. I couldn't think of anyone better to talk up. Like, look at them, y'all. Look at them. Deja don't smoke weed. She don't smoke. Like, her and Marquise, they can never be like this. You know? They can never be like this. We've never seen Deja and Marquise looking in each other's eyes like that. Like, yep, mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all should fix that shit. Y'all not a couple. You're not. All right, I guess I should leave then. If Deja is going to sleep, y'all. Welp. Marquise is about to be on his way home. Dang, he ain't seen rain all day. It's okay. She all right. She a big girl. Um, woo, y'all. What an episode, huh? Hello? Damn. Deja and Marquise are on the rocks. You guys met Prince Naveen. I'm so happy about that. I forgot that I had him. And I had him like a couple months ago on, on stream and everything. That's the craziest part. Ooh, Marquise and Deja. I mean, Marquise and... Look, y'all keep getting them mixed up. Marquise and Jada. Hmm. Oh, you know, mm, there's layers to this too. Because Marquise has another gang rival. And you know who the gang rival is? Jada's ex. So, whoo! It's gonna be mad. See if it happens this way. <laughs> well, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I will see you guys next time for another episode of The Porters. Let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments. If you want to see this video ad free, please consider supporting the girl on Patreon. And we also have exclusive scenes from other videos as well. Okay, I love you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, week, evening, month, what have you. And I'll see you guys next time.